Hello YouTube. It's been a long time since I made a new story time. It's been like a month now. Something like that. And I've been working at school and stuff, so I've been busy. Well, I just haven't felt like uploading mainly. So, I'm going to start this new upload schedule with this video. Which is story time episode 13, I think. 12, 13, I think it's 13. <laughs> that shows how much I give a fuck about my YouTube channel. But anyways. Um. This story is pretty interesting. Um, I was coming back home from Kroger's. I don't work there anymore, so. You know, that's another story I'll have to tell someday, but not right now. So I was working at Kroger's coming back home, right? As I was getting in my car, there was this minivan that was, that pulled out of the parking spot, right? I'm like, okay, he's just sitting there. He pulled from one parking spot and went to another one. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck is he doing? So I just pulled out, I'm like, okay, I don't really care. People do it all the time, kind of thing. I just was kind of confused. So I put my car in drive and I go right past him. And I, I'm like, hmm. Okay, he's just getting out of his car. Maybe he's just sitting there getting doing something on his phone. The motherfucker follows me. He he literally tar puts his car in drive and follows me down towards Target. Down towards the light. And then, as I'm turning, he turns with me. I... This was at, like, 9 o'clock, right? So, this motherfucker... He, he's just following me. I'm like, what is he doing? And then I kept thinking, there was two things running in my mind. I was like, he's either following me or he's just going the same way I'm going. Which, I mainly thought he was just going the same way I was going. But then I turned the lane and he turned the same lane. And I'm like, oh shit, this isn't good. So I turned the other lane and he turned that lane too. I eventually went down that road going 90 miles an hour. And guess what? The fucking minivan was right behind me. Well, not right behind me. He may have been, like, a car behind me, but by the time I got to a, to the second... I have four stoplights going to my house. Maybe five. I don't remember exactly. But he's... By, by like, the third one, I think, he caught up to me. So I'm over here like, what the fuck? He was right behind me, right? So I'm going up this hill, and there's a church on the side. And, well, I'm over here thinking, what the fuck is this dude want? So I pull in, and he pulls in too, right? I'm over here thinking, this dude is just some fucking dumb teenager or something. I never actually got the look of his face. All I know is he was an older man. I literally rolled down my window and said, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you goddamn following me? And he's over here, he's, he didn't say anything. Not, not that I remember anyways. I think he mumbled something, but I couldn't hear it because my car was loud. Well, it, you know, the car noise you hear when you roll down your window. And it was like cars passing us that night, and I really couldn't hear anything. So, I was over here, I'm like, okay, whatever. But I saw someone in the passenger side, he looked like maybe a teenager. Maybe a teenage-ish, maybe, maybe in their 20s. I'm like, this has got to be a prank. I literally said, so, is this someone I know? Like, who, who are you? And anyways... I literally told him to go the fuck away before I call the fucking cops. Because I ain't gonna... I'm not gonna die tonight. From some fucking dude who wants to kidnap me and send me to fucking Africa or something as a slave. You know? But... I hope you enjoyed this short little story about how I could have gotten kidnapped. And, um... Thanks for watching, and bye.